Poland, September 1939. The German foe begins its ruthless march of conquest and sets the stage for World War II. It may seem to many that Poland during the Second World War has little to remember except for the fact that it was occupied by the German army. However, everyone forgot about the multiple resistance units that continued to fight throughout the country. One of these rebels was a Polish soldier, Jan Karski. Jan Karski resistance fighter and diplomat during World War II. He is known for having acted as a courier in 1940 to 1943 to the Polish government in exile and to Poland's Western allies about the situation in German-occupied Poland. He reported about the state of Poland, its many competing resistance factions, and uh, also about Germany's destructions in Warsaw and its operation of extermination camps on Polish soil that were murdering Jews, Poles and others. He smuggled out of Poland a microfilm with additional information from the underground movement about the extermination of European Jews in German-occupied Poland. His reports were transcribed and translated by Valentina Stoker, Sikorsky's personal secretary and interpreter. Based on Karski's microfilm, Polish Foreign Minister Count Eduard Raczynski provided the Allies with one of the earliest and most accurate accounts of Nazi atrocities. Karski also traveled to the United States, where he met in the Oval Office with President Franklin D. Roosevelt, the first eyewitness to tell Roosevelt about the situation in Poland and report on all the actions of the Germans throughout the war. 